When I first was notified that I received a scholarship, I obviously just was just filled with excitement. And the first thing that I did was actually call all my family members because it's just so encouraging to see again that someone is wanting to invest in your education and they believe that you're going to be able to be successful in the goals that you've created for yourself. I, I'm a first generation college student. So all this is like falling on me, like paying for everything. So it was just amazing to like have someone to help me. Like it was awesome. I was able to pay for books and notebooks and all these different things. So it is great. Scholarship Hi, is very important Hi, to me because um, by receiving the financial, extra Hi. financial support, no. I get to spend more time with my buddy. And this is like, he's really important to me. When I applied for scholarships, I was just like, oh, hoping, but I never really thought that I'd be selected to win a scholarship out of a pool of people. When I first found out about the scholarships opening, I was like, oh my god, I really need to do this. And then I was like, um, I'm just going to apply for as many as possible. And then I got the email that I received the scholarship and I was absolutely ecstatic. A scholarship from someone I especially haven't even met just to receive that extra helping hand when I didn't expect it. it it almost means more to me, and um, I mean, I, I, I'm just so grateful. It is a very, very much that encouragement. Also, it's kind of that I know you're, you're, you'll, you'll be successful, and this is helping you succeed in that goal that you're trying to strive for. And it, it is very emotional. It gets very overwhelming to get and be granted with a scholarship that you. I don't even think you forget that moment when you're told, here is, here we go, here's this money, now focus on what your, your, your goal is, here's your future, I'm helping you get to that part. <laughs> when I was in sixth grade, I was diagnosed with T-cell lymphoblastic lymphoma, and so I spent the next two years in Children's Hospital. Receiving a scholarship is important because I say it helps me to not have to focus so much on my finances. As far as my health goes, I'm completely cancer free and that's been checked multiple times. I'm really thanking God for that. And so I have to pace myself. I, like even going to classes, I try to schedule my classes where it's every other day so that I have time to recover from getting up and coming to school because just that wipes me out for the rest of that day. Um, I've loved my time at you. Blush. It's been perfect. It's not too big, not too small. Class sizes are great. All of my professors have been absolutely amazing. The other staff at the college are really great. Um, it's just been a super positive experience here for me. My scholarships have paid for nearly half of my tuition over the course of my degree and that has been such a huge blessing to me. I'm so thankful for the scholarships and all of the scholarship donors that make that possible. Scholarships are so important because not only do they provide that financial piece that's so important for so many students in order to pursue a college education, but it just gives you that support and knowing that other people believe in your ability to succeed in the goals that you've created for yourself. It keeps me accountable, I think, because you know that someone is in your corner, someone who, you know, you have a group of people who actually believe in you and they're putting their resources towards your dream. I grew up in a household with just a single parent, um, who worked just a remedial service jobs all of her life and I just, I had a sister that passed away in 2007 and I always just have been that person that needed to step up in my family and help my mother provide so I just knew that in order to escape like poverty and to make a living in the future I needed to really like step up, do good in school and like go to college. I would like to become a veterinarian. Uh, that is something that I've kind of always wanted to do. I think starting off strong as a registered veterinary technician opens my opens a lot of doors, uh, a lot of different doors for me to explore and, like I said, expand my experience and exposure um, that will greatly benefit um, my future as a veterinarian. My um, professional goals would be to work in private practice and general dentistry. Um, preferably like a small like family atmosphere. My plan after graduation is to find a job working as a med surge unit and to get experience and become a BSN. Um, and then actually my lifetime goal is to become a nurse practitioner. Once I graduate from 
my graduate program, um, I plan to go, I want to work at an uh, outpatient rehabilitation center, so something like Drake or maybe like a children's outpatient or something like that. Eventually, the big goal is to open up my own private practice. After I graduate this program in the spring, I will take my board exam this summer. And after I am interested in furthering my education and gaining a specialty in either emergency and critical care or surgery. After graduating from the UC Blue Ash nursing program, it is my immediate goal right now to transition to the main campus RN to BSN program where I'll obtain my bachelor's degree in nursing. And thereafter, I plan to kind of just get into the field, gain more of an understanding as to where I see myself long term. So after my time here at UC Blue Ash, I graduated this semester with my associate's degree in pre-business administration. And after that, I'm going to major in business economics and business analytics with a minor in international business at the Lunar College of Business. I want to eventually uh, go for a master's degree and um, that will be in economics and I'm thinking um, even about going all the way for my PhD in economics. Um, since that will be something that I would love to do, actually be a professor because I love teaching, I love interacting with people, I'm a very social person. Thank you so many times over. Um, you make such a big difference in my life and all of our lives and it really sets us up for success and encourages us and helps us in so many ways. I just wanted to say thank you to all of our scholarship donors. Uh, your endless support means so much. Thank you very much for being a scholarship donor. I greatly appreciate it. I would like to thank the scholarship donors for their support financially and for giving me that support that I need to know that what I'm doing here at UC Blue Ash is going to pay off. And to just receive that emotional support has been so important to me. So thank you so very much for your generosity. Thank you scholarship donors for allowing me to continue my education. To the scholarship donors, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You do not know how much this means for us to know that someone is backing you, to know that someone is supporting you, to know that someone else who's already made it is giving back to the future, is who's giving back to tomorrow. Um, it means so much, it means, it means so much, so thank you. Thank you so much for your generosity and consideration for the scholarships that I've received. I'm greatly appreciative of them. Thank you. Thank you so much for your generosity. I just want to say thank you for everything, um, for the support that you have shown. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to work on my dreams and achieve my goals. Thank you for all the help you've given us and I hope we all make you proud.